become the most powerful being of all. If you're not using this already for harvesting, holy crap, you are missing out. What's up, guys? It's King Daddy D Mac, and welcome, welcome back to another episode of Ark Survival Evolved. That's right, we're playing here with what is it? Oh my goodness, I forgot. With with Prometheus Reborn, there we go. Having so much fun doing flips. My goodness, how are you guys doing today? You ever get a brain fart? Yeah, it happens sometimes. You know, you can't help it. It's life. I'm human. You know what I'm talking about. But uh, yeah, maybe I was just a little distracted by the awesomeness that is behind us. Yes, we got a Supreme Reaper pack of psychos. Look at these things. Uh, yeah, our strongest creature yet. We even have another one. Yes, in my inventory. We bred out all these bad boys last time and... Holy crap, are they good. So incredibly insane. We're able to take on all sorts of wardens, and uh, yeah, maybe we failed against the world boss, but guys, come on now. There's a reason why it's called the world boss. We're not there yet, but we will be one day. And uh, speaking of things about today, today is the last day that we have to play without Froggy Man. He will be back tomorrow, so thumbs up for that. I cannot wait. We can finally hatch out all the Rex eggs that we've been collecting up. And the Rex, by the way, is supposed to be in its final form. Probably the best creature that you can possibly get. And we have like a fridge full of the eggs so cannot wait for that but uh other things going on um uh, remember the update that we had on the volcano well uh i just want to show you guys we uh we got some problems let's go on over to the rock drake area real quick i just want to show you you know i could tell you but it's just it's not the same it's not the same i gotta show you it's a little intense over here Definitely problems. Definitely we need to uh, do things about it. A lot of people on the member server is like, no, why Why are you going to go and uh, block these things? Well, uh, let's see if we can see it. It gets bad. It gets really bad. Come on. Come on. Let's get in. It's even worse when you go up top. Okay, it doesn't, it doesn't look that bad. I'll give it to you. It doesn't look from down here like it's that bad. But look at, look at this. Holy crap. There is so, okay, now it's starting to get bad. These are all void worms. Like crazy amounts of them. I'm spamming our big attack, which just basically kills everything on the screen. If you go up high, this is like, they go all the way to like the sky, like the, the world limit. It is nuts. And it's also hurting spawns on the server. Dude, they're just falling like flies. It is crazy. And you know what? The second you kill them, more of them spawn right back in. But this entire area, it, it looks even worse from up top. Trust me. Take my word on it. I, I get to the point oh, where I almost, you know, my game locks up and freezes. Like I get like one FPS, one frame per second. Oh, we got to get out of here. So I'm not going to go up top to show you. It, trust me. It gets worse. But uh, yeah, that happened with the volcano update. So kind of nuts, but what kind of sucks about it is it's hurting a lot of the spawns. Because of those guys spawning in, a lot of the other stuff that would normally be spawning over here just isn't. So I think we're going to spend today looking at... Until I block them, I'll block them for next episode. But uh, I think we're going to look at some Prome stuff, some Prometheus stuff. There's been stuff that you guys have been asking for me to do, so we'll go check that out. Let me just run over here. Yeah, I haven't seen, like, any bosses over here. Usually you see a couple of them. So, you know, is what it is. Anyway, let's get back to the spawn base. And I'm going to show you something else really cool that I came across. Oh, you turd nugget. Are you kidding me? All right, you all got to die. Big move, everything's destroyed. All right, let's get back to the base. And spawn base center. That's the one I was looking for. 
So, something else that we can also do while we have this crazy overspawn issue, there are a couple of creatures that you can craft that are extremely useful. I really wish I had done, by the way, look at the inventory. <laughs> it's kind of nuts. I really wish that I had done earlier because, oh man, are they helpful. Oh, by the way, all these Reapers are getting named at the end of the episode, so I hope you left some epic name suggestions for them. We got four of them. Craziness. That, of course, would have had to be, uh, you know, back in last episode. But, of course, anything that we tamed this time, you'll get to name. So this will probably be the first creature that we're about to do. But, guys, before I show you, Please remember, if you're enjoying the series, to show that amazing support by slamming that thumbs up button. And if you're new to the channel or you haven't yet, seriously, what are you waiting for? It is the perfect time to subscribe. Also, be sure to check out the Discord. Come be part of the Mac Pack. And don't forget, we now have channel memberships. Getting new members every single day. It's so very cool. At some point, I'm probably going to have to do a uh, showcase of the member server. But yes, we have a member server for anyone that plays Arc on PC and Steam. By being a member, you are then able to join that server. It's pretty cool. Plus, you get a cool little crown next to your name in the chat and emotes, which I'm pretty sure you can use those emotes all across YouTube. Yeah, it's pretty neat. But, uh, okay, so in this, this is called Pandora's Box. In here, there's something called a Harvester. And I was talking to the mod author. I was kind of complaining about, I really wish his Anklo was better and, you know, some stuff. They just weren't harvesting that well. And you can see what this cost, by the way. 100 steel, 50 mutagen, 200 element, and 100 ancient polymer. It's really not that much. You know, once you get all the guys, all the dodos that make all this stuff, like, it's not a big deal. So, he told me, why the crap are you using the Anklo DMAC? You should be using the Harvester. Well, I've known this. He told me this a while ago, but I just never got around to making it. Well, let's go ahead and make it. And I think, let's see, it said level. Okay, this one's a level 300. I don't know if it's randomized or not. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what level you get. They're all good. So, dude, what is going on over there? Let's go over to the volcano. This is one of my favorite spots. Now, I do have to admit, I've never used Text Rider. Ever. Ever. They're really annoying the way that you tame them in vanilla. I, I think you have to play, like, mini games or something. I was like, I refuse to play mini games in Ark. Ark is not about mini games. I don't care about this creature. So I don't know if this is what a normal Strider is like, but this thing is absolutely phenomenal. The best harvester in the game by far. So I'm just waiting for my stuff to charge up there in the bottom. You see it charging up slowly? I don't know what it takes to charge that up. It also gets resource attractor rig. Okay, and then it gets excavator rig. So, I don't know. Maybe those are vanilla things. I have no clue. I haven't played vanilla in a long time. All right, so I think they should be good enough. So, all I got to do is press right click and then just walk around. This is it. And look at the numbers. This is, by the way, I have not leveled this guy up at all or anything, but just is crazy. Absolute insanity. It is so inexpensive to get. I love this thing. Like, look at that. Already 16,000 metal we've got. And it's probably going to get better. I, I assume it goes up with melee. I honestly have no idea. But let's go ahead and do this. Now, I did already make one of these earlier when I was testing it out. And let's see. Is this one also... What level is it? Okay, so I think it always comes in at level 300. But yeah, these, these little beams, they just stay out and they just constantly harvest. It is... So very excellent, and I figured I should finally show you guys. If you're not using this already for harvesting, holy crap, you are missing out. You have, like, got to get this thing. All right, come on. <laughs> it's like I'm shining a flashlight on stuff, and it just totally harvests them. And from, like, a pretty good distance, too. I wonder if it hits the griffin. Can I harvest a griffin? I don't know. He doesn't seem to care about... Oh, no. He cares. 
All right, let's see. What is our attack like? Let's turn that off. So press right click again. How do I attack you? I don't even know if I can. Wait, wait, there's a move. I don't know what that did. All right, whatever. Griffin, be mad at me. Go ahead, be mad at me. I don't care. I'm, I'm going to continue to harvest and maybe you'll ignore me later. Dude, like, just look at that. It is sick. It is so sick. Oh. It's just so much fun to watch. It's just like mesmerizing. Absolute excellent creature. So if this is what a strider always was in vanilla, then okay, I've been missing out. Maybe it is worth playing the dumb mini games. But oh, it's great. Just look at this. Let's see. Can I reach that node from here? Look at that all the way from there. It's craziness. So anyway, let's go ahead and turn that off. Let's get this guy now to the uh, center place. Boom. And yes, that is the tech harvester. Phenomenal creature and really not that expensive. And it will easily pay for itself. I would assume probably the mutagen is the hardest part to get. You know, but just kill some void worms. All right. So that is that guy. Let's just see. What did we net for resources? 58,000 metal. And that's before we like leveled up anything. Absolute insanity. All right. Next up and likely our only tame for today. I want to go out and find a Prometheus guy that we can level up. So let's go ahead. Grab lullaby. We haven't shown any love to Lullaby in a while, and let's see if Lullaby is good enough to take out a prone creature. A prone boss. Ooh, guys. Um, so this is not what I was expecting to do, but uh, we got a Desert Titan. I'm um, kind of curious if we can take that guy out super quick. I am going to go ahead and grab our Reaper to come over and assist us. So, sorry about that, Mr. Drake. You will come back out in a moment, but I don't see this very often. So, oh, crap. We have the Reaper back in the base. There we go. All right. Come here, bro. Oh, no. Okay. Okay. We good. We good. Come on. Do a move. You can't do it. Dude, I'm getting launched to, like, the top of the world. All right. How we doing, Mr. Desert Titan? Can I get you? Okay, we took out his fly. Oh, yeah, this is working. It's working. It's working. Come on, bro. Dude, we are wrecking him. Yes. Oh, finally, we learned the tech generator. As well as uh, other stuff. So that's pretty cool. We still got to get all those things unlocked. So when we see the vanilla type bosses, we, we got to get them. And anything else too? Yeah, you got some goodies maybe. I don't know. I bet that, you know what? I bet there's a bag somewhere. Because I think we're supposed to get like a Titan head or trophy or something. I have no idea. Let's see. Can we see it when we jump up? I don't see it. All right. I'm a little too lazy to look for it. So... We'll just pretend we got it, say we did, and move on. Oh, baby! Check it out! So, we've done a Prome Dragon before, but uh, this one's a good one. And uh, I think we should try and see if we can tame it. And, I don't know, evolve it, finally. That's what a lot of peeps have been telling me they wanted to see. All right, can I put... I forget. Can I use this in the Drake? I feel like I couldn't. Let's also give him food. Bro! Stop it! Alright, that is not going very fast. Alright, the bite. Oh yeah, the bite does so much better. Yup, yup, that's where it's at. I'm also not fully leveled on this Drake. I have come to realize. Come here, bro. Why do I feel like I could fly faster before? Come here, dude. Oh, okay. The, the dragon does something to me, I think. Maybe. I think he's giving me some type of buff. I don't know. You know, like negative. A nerf, I should say. Oh! Let's go! Alright. 
Just 800,000 Torpor left. Dude, we're doing so much Torpor. I love it. I haven't had a chance to really use this Drake much. Most things in the Prometheus mod, uh, or excuse me, in the AG mod, AG Reborn, they're not knockout tame, so I never get to use this guy. But I think it is epic. Yes, finally, for this mod. All right, let's hope that these guys leave our dude alone. Because that would be very upsetting if they attack him. Especially when we have such a good level. All right, you get picked up. All right. It says just one prone food, so that's cool. I think we're going to have to use a starver, though. All right. Prone food and... Oh! Awesome. Look at that. $8.99, baby! All right. We need the saddle form. Not a problem. Not a problem. Let's get them all packed up, and I'll meet you back at the base. All right, finally, we have a good dragon. The other one we got was way lower level, and this is, I think, max. So let's do like we always do. Let's go ahead. Can I clone it? I didn't see a clone. I don't know. I don't know if it got clipped into the ground or what. That kind of makes me upset. Let me see. Let's go up in the air a little bit, just in case it's, it's clipping into the ground. Let's go ahead, put the cloner thing in. Did it not work? Does it not work on the dragon? Come on, dude, that's not cool. All right, looks like we don't get a cloner. Oh, I wonder if that got changed or something. That's super weird. That is super duper weird. All right, let's go find out. What is this guy hitting for? Feels way better than the other dragon, I'll tell you that much. So it has some type of right click wrath. Oh yeah, that's right, it did that thing. That's the C, no X, no Q, no R, no O. When I'm landed, no C, and that's the right click. All right, cool, 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 cool. Let's go ahead, let's give it some, nope. I gotta make more of those. All right, let's see, what does it hit for? And then I'll get it maxed out and then we'll evolve it. Now, I think I don't need to do this, like max this guy out. I'm pretty sure we don't get to keep the levels, but you never know. Sometimes mods are a little janky and it actually does let you. Oh, I hope that is not locked in at 300,000, but it seems decent, seems decent. Ooh, taking a while to kill this dude. Come on. Let's go. How are we doing here? All right, it's almost done. Got him. Beautiful. All right, so you got to see what it was like without levels. Let me get him pumped up. All right, easy enough. Let's go ahead and one, two, three, four, five. So that's max attack. We're not max level yet, but we'll get there pretty quick. Um, and check this out. I got, I took on a Prome Indom and it gave me that. Yeah, that's exactly what we need for the upgrade, which is super cool. And what, what are the upgrades we can do on this one? Flame, uh, lightning, poison, or power. I'm going to go, I, I really think power is the best in every case. I don't know. I've heard some people say do an element, which maybe... Maybe that could be really good, but honestly, um, I like power. I like to hit harder. Oh no, is that doing less now? What the crap? It was hitting 3,000 on something else. That's crazy. What is this thing? Enraged Dinopithecus. Get the crap out of here. So max attack, it's, it's nothing to write home about. All right, here's a Bronto. All right, 92,000. That's pretty good but that's still locked in at three. Oh my goodness. That is crazy. So when you're in flight, you can use C. But yeah, the bite, that, that's where it's all at. All right, you guys were swearing to me that the dragon's really good. I wasn't super impressed before, but I don't know. Let's find out after we make it into a power one. Now, of course, we're likely gonna wanna breed it to get the stats even better. 
but I think that will have to be good enough for now. Let's go ahead. Oop. Let's grab everything out of it. I have nothing in the key folder, right? All right, cool. Let's come on over here. I already made up a matrix, so since we got this power thing, I think we are golden. Let's go ahead. Oh, let's put in the rest of the levels. All right, maxed. All right, and pull. Beautiful. And the, the matrix core, remember, that was a 100 of this stuff. And then something else, I don't remember. Anyway. Boom. Let's take off the saddle. And I got the saddle, right? All right. Here we go. Power evolution, baby. Go away, tree. You're, you're ruining the mood. All right. Here we go. Power dragon. You working? Almost there. Almost there. All right. And. Oh, it's so pretty. It is so pretty. Come on, dragon. Become the most powerful being of all. And let's go, bro. Oh, power dragon. Very sweet, guys. Let's go ahead. Come here. Put the saddle back on. Did it lose levels? Did it really just lose levels? It better not have. I think it did because we were. it didn't lose much. Actually, it looks almost identical in stats. Let's see. Yeah, it didn't look like it changed that much. I didn't pay attention to anything but the melee, but yeah, that that will have to do. All right, let's go ahead and make the new keep folder. Let's put in the this and a that. Bada bing, bada boom. And let's go find out, did it get more powerful? So remember, on the Mega P, it changed up some of the moves. Let's find out with the dragon. Does it do the same? Do we got new moves? I, it did add a jump to the Mega Pithecus, but I'm going to assume dragons can't jump. All right. Oh, weird. Okay, so now it's just a breath without a laser. There's no seawall on the ground. When I'm in the air... Yeah, I don't know why they do that with a repetitive uh, button, but it's just left click, right click. No R, no Q, left control, O. Yeah, that's all we got, but this is where uh, the proof's in the pudding. 50,000 to start now. Remember, the other one with max attack was hitting for 92,000. All right, we'll find out. And 5,000 with the breath. Ooh, Supreme Griffin approaching. Sweet. People are telling me that's really good. I got to check that out. All right. We saw what the moves are doing. Let me get it to max attack. All right. We should be there. Let's go ahead. Put in the final levels for attack. One, two, three, four, five. So highest we can go without a resetting. And once again, not quite maxed out in level. I'm going to do all the rest, I believe, into health. Let's find out. Is it going to be worthy of use? All right. 486,000. Definitely no slouch. Huge, huge upgrade. It's like 400k stronger than the base version. So not bad. Um, It's not yet boosted, mate boosted. Let's find out. I made some more cloners. I'm curious if now that it's a power, if maybe I could clone it. So let's see if that works. Let's dismount. And please, please, please. Did it work? Dude, why? Why? Can I? Hold on. I should have the Mega P on it still. I, I got to find out if, if something changed or is it just the dragon? Um, let's see, the Mega Pithecus, Mega Mecha Kong. All right, can I still clone you? Yeah, I can. Apparently, you can't clone the dragon. It does not like it. That's going to make it a lot harder for breeding for us. Plus, we would have had mate boost right then and there. Oh, but I'm, I guess we'd probably go up to, like, definitely over half a mil. 
Um, maybe even to like six, seven hundred thousand. So all, jeez, what's going on with you, bro? Taking mad damage now from like everything. You were like invincible before. It must have just been the things I hit. So it's pretty strong. Um, we're definitely way higher than this, but I do think it's worthy of breeding just to find out. It is a flyer and I would not expect a dragon to be quite as strong as say like a Megapithecus. Of course, it's gonna be able to handle most things. And I don't know, maybe the fire variant would actually be the way to go you know, for residual damage. That would be kind of interesting. So I'll have to look in to that. Now, I'm, I'm happy we got the dragon though. Don't get me wrong. I'm happy we got it. And it finally gets you guys to stop saying, get the dragon. We got the dragon. It certainly is epic looking though. I always like dragons. There should be more dragons though. I'd like to try an AG reborn dragon. Now, there's one other thing that I saw around here somewhere earlier today as I was going around. And I was like, you know what? I want to come back to that, but I don't see it anymore. Hmm, maybe it was down further this way. I saw it when I was on my way to uh, tame the dragon. And I was like, no, d -Mac, you got to get that dragon before something happens to it. And we got the dragon up there. So it's probably over this way. Let me go hunt it out because it is a boss I'd like to fight. Yup, just like I remembered, we got the dragon up there, I believe. So that is a tech quats. And a tech quats, I think, is a creature that we need for AG Reborn to unlock. I think it's the, uh... I think it's the, uh, tech... Tech prime armor let's go ahead and send this guy back to our spawn base all right come on i gotta go gotta go it's got too much on his inventory and let's grab out our reaper and hopefully this guy makes quick work of this dude all right here it goes done seriously that gives the shield I find a tech boss and we get the dumb shield from it. What the crap? Oh, wells, dude, we hit something for that negative two billion. It's too good. It's too good. I love this Reaper. It is so, so powerful. Oh man, we got a squad of them. It is just too good. Anyway, guys, I think, I think we about did it for today. Whoa, getting launched. What are you? What are you? I want to eat you. That is a prime. Oh, tear bird. We haven't done tear birds at all yet. All right. Anywho, I think it's that time. Let me go through those comments. All right, guys, I just finished going through the comments and yes, it is now that time. That's right. Time to name the dinos. For those of you that do not know, at the end of every single episode, I go through the comments of the previous episode and I pick out all the most awesome name suggestions that you guys leave in the down there. That's right. Just remember, if you want to have a chance of getting your name chosen, you got to be a subscriber. So smash that subscribe button. And yeah, just comment down below. It is just that easy. Anyway, for today, we have the Reaper's name. So let's get to it. We have Red Skull, Acid Burn, and Atomic. I love it, guys. Very, very cool names. For next time, we need a name for our Prome Power Dragon and for our Tech Harvester. So help me out in the comments below. But anyway, guys, thank you oh so much for watching. It's been a pleasure. As always, show that amazing support for the series 
by smashing that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel or you haven't yet, please do not forget to subscribe for the daily ARC awesomeness. Also, be sure to check out the Discord. Become part of the backpack. Link is in description. And don't forget, we now have YouTube memberships. If you want to join along and plan the member server. Also, get a cool little crown next to your name and the use of epic new dumpling emotes. That's right. Anyway, guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Cross your fingers. It should be a froggy man. I am so excited. Can't wait to see that guy. But anyway, I'll see you then. Thanks again. And as always, peace out.